What is up guys, it is John, and I've returned to a familiar location today. The Lost Train to Nowhere. Oh, there's a carpet bagger. Hey! So we're here, we're on our way somewhere else, but we figured why not stop and check on our old friend here. It's the old ladybug. Southern Railroad, Lost Train to Nowhere. Let's see how it's doing. Follow us. As you can tell, the train has deteriorated quite a bit. And it looks like it's become a trash dump. It is November, guys, and there's ladybugs everywhere. This is weird. <laughs> One just went literally in my mouth. Yeah, guys, we're gonna explore this thing. See what it looks like. Let's climb up on this bad boy and check it out. What do you think? I love the big wheels. Yeah, we peek inside. This has been heavily vandalized, guys, since I've been here last. It's like somebody's just come through here with a baseball bat and just beat it to death. It's like even this seat, like somebody just like destroys the back of this. It's sad. Still, every time I come here, I gotta pull the levers, flip the switches. Look at all these switches here. Still, every time I come here, I just think of, what if this thing tried to fire up? Or what if it did? That would be absolutely terrifying. Ooh. People out here of just the overgrown. You can even see where people have started ripping wires out. Freaking thieves, wire thieves. As you can see, guys, they have destroyed this place since I was here last. Bicycle racks and some of the train cars. They have destroyed this train, guys. If you remember my first video, I'll link it down below. All the windows were intact, right? They were all intact. They were intact when you were here last. I think so, yeah. Sucks. It does suck. I heard you go, ooh, in the bathroom. Yeah, don't go in there. Somebody somebody put a turd in the toilet. Uh, it looks like a few people did. I don't know. Ooh. That's nasty. Freaking wasp in November. Weird. Oh yeah, Adam the Woo's here too, by the way. Here's a shot of first class the area where everyone would have been sitting enjoying the ride. Electrical thingies. Alright guys. Now we're on more of the third class coach type area. Tickets would have been a lot cheaper. That's what he said. This is where you'd stored your bicycles at. Somebody tried to set something on fire. Somebody ordered, enjoyed them some potato skins. What do you think of it, Mr. Carpetbagger? Where do the raccoons live? More research. So guys, I want to tell y'all, just in case I haven't before, the story of this train is it was owned by a museum and this museum took this train on tours through this local area. So they brought the train here and they were on a tour and it actually broke down right where it sits now. And they just did not have the money to invest into fixing the train. So they just had to leave it now it's stay here and it's fallen into disrepair. So kind of sad. So 
So a pretty good little hike from the prison on top of this hill lies the Brushy Mountain Prison Cemetery. And as you can see, there's nothing here marking that a cemetery is here other than this one monument that still stands. Now what happened when the prison closed, the state came in and took every headstone here and removed it and said, that's our property. So the hundreds of graves here are now unmarked and lost. I mean, these, these graves are lost forever. And uh, it's kind of sad, so there you go. Guys, we are back at the Brushy Mountain Prison. Got Adam the Woo. Of course, Jake at the carpetbagger with me here. We are in the depths in the belly of Brushy Mountain. Museum. Let's walk in here. Oh. You always gotta see James Earl Ray's cell when you come here. You know, we've been down a few corridors. But what first of all I want to do is give you an idea. Look how tall this is. There is five sections in here that is this big. Actually, two, three, four, six sections in here this size of cells. What I want to show you is this cell down here that is infamous and it belonged to Mr. James Earl Ray. And in case you don't know who he is, he is the man who assassinated Martin Luther King Jr. He did escape from here and actually run what they call the Barclay Marathon, which is they run the route of his escape. But he did stay in his cell. And this is where he called home for many, many, many years. And there's that little saying there. You'll see where they had their exercise area. Speed bag, heavy bag. They had the chair. Down, down, down there at the end. You get a peek inside death row. If y'all want to see more in-depth view of it, I'll link my video where I was here before. Wow. This is the cell of Byron Low Tax Looper. A governor who murdered, or a guy running for governor, who murdered his opponent. Check this out. Some pretty detailed wall art. Newport. If you guys remember, this is a location where we done the experiment with a cigarette. What happened when you did your experiment? What happened? <sighs> Somehow it, it actually lit up. Really? It did. So what? So how did you go? What did you go about doing? You just stuck so, it there. So my Tim, friend Tim lit one and placed it right here. Did you light it? We lit it. He lit it and you know took a puff, made sure it was lit, and laid it right here. And we said, if there's any spirits here that wants to have a cigarette, take a puff and it glue. I'm not kidding. It's it's okay. in my video. It's. Okay guys, I am down a cell block. It is second floor, 30s. It's the 30 numbers. We're out right here at where the massacre happened where there were three African-American gentlemen here. The Magnificent Seven came in and shot them up. Now if you remember in our last video, right here, we set a cigarette right there. Yep, Tim's pointing at it. Sorry, I had to jump in there. <laughs> so, we're gonna set another cigarette here, see if we can reenact this. So let's guys, let's, let's try this. I mean, that, that's the most compelling thing I've ever visually seen in my life. So I wanna to try to recreate that, see if we can catch her head again. It is a little warmer tonight. They say that the cold draws more paranormal activity. So let's see what happens here, guys. Let's try this out. Okay, Tim's got us a cigarette lit up. And this gentleman here remembers Tim. You remember Tim? Do you remember me? You shared a cigarette with him last time. Go ahead and talk into my camera here if you're with us. All right, guys, there we go. All right. So now we've lit the cigarette. There we go, it's up there. We're gonna go ahead and set that right there. I'm gonna turn the light off. And we're gonna watch for a second. So go ahead and take you a puff, it's sitting there for you. Hello? If you're there, go ahead and take a drag. I set that for you there. We shared one last time. I'm trying to give you another one. Trying to focus on it. Go ahead and take it. Oh, wow. Look at that. 
Holy cow. Go ahead and take you another draw, man. Oh no. That's probably more than he smoked last time. I know, he's just going to town on it. Well, like, it's just steady going. Look it at is. You guys. Wow. And I'm gonna show you something real quick. There Look how much he's already smoked with that. Look, there's nobody in here. The door's shut. And it's just me and John. Yeah, I see, mean, there's Tim. You can look. All the way around. Nobody else is in here. So let's let him, let's turn the lights off and let him continue his smoke. Good Lord, that thing's glowing. I mean, that's going not, and those are supposed to be not. There, there's the fire safe. Yeah. Look at that thing. Just go. keep smoking it, man. Holy cow. Wow, that's the longest draw I've ever seen. I know, he's just, he just keeps smoking it. Whoa, look at it. That is amazing, Tim. Go to town. Hey man, you know what? You shared your cigarette with me last time. I'm happy to share one with you today. Take you another big hit off that. Let us, let us see it. Whoa. There he goes, gosh. Holy cow. Okay, I think there it goes again. Look at it. he's smoking it. I think I think it. Goes <coughs> All right, guys, we're in the cafeteria, and it, I gotta say, it's weird to see it lit up. Got a pretty good view back into the kitchen area, although there's no longer much quit equipment back here. And then that symbol of freedom at the end of their lunch line. Kind of ironic. These two foxes playing is one of my favorite paintings in here. This is where you'd visit at. Visitation. This is where the guards would look through the glass. Look how thick this glass is. Not that thick. It's crazy. Night. If you look here, we got a big old cavern right here. Wow. Look at you, Yeah. All right guys, this has been fun with Adam and Jacob. And a huge shout out to Jamie, who is always so kind. Let us check his place out. I'll put the link into their website. If you want to come here and do your own thing, go check it out, guys. Until next time, y'all take it easy.